going to level with you here. My lawn is in need of some leveling. Got a couple spots here where we drove a trailer through with some dirt. You can see where I've kind of scalped it a little bit there and there. There's the tire tracks. Before I can level my lawn, I'm going to need something to level it with. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I've been wanting to level my lawn for a while, and so I've been Googling a lot of the stuff online as far as leveling drags go. It's just most of it's either way too expensive or it looks like really cheap junk. The one they have for sale on Tractor Supply just looks like it's really flimsy. I don't know what thickness of metal that is, but it doesn't look like it would hold up to what I'm going to put it through. So that's why I decided to build my own. Luckily, Connor Ward put together a video where he gives the instructions on how to put together the drag just like his. So that's what I'm going to do. video I was gonna get my friend Matt to dress up like a woman and help me out with this but uh, I thought a drag mat might be a little bit too much for YouTube so I got this yard yuppie to help me out over here my brother-in-law Travis oh hey there's Jed he's hanging out all the boys are over here today let's get this thing done So what I got was two pieces of C-channel, and those are 3 16 inch thickness. The angle iron that I got is 1 8 thickness, and all the cross pieces are all angle iron. The middle piece is angle iron. So each of these pieces are 10 feet long. It's going to be a 10 foot long drag mat. We're going to be 26 inches wide. I'll lay it all out here for you a second. Yeah, that's okay. just under. That's just under 10 feet. Yeah, like those are over 10 feet. So we're going to trim those two a little bit. So we're putting washers underneath all the cross pieces on the ends so that the C-channel will sit up about an eighth of an inch higher than the middle piece of angle iron. That one will just be barely off the ground. So sand that comes over this front side will go under that piece of angle iron in the middle and also hit the back part too. So Jet's got the washers that we're putting here to space these out. Good job. So I got the plans for this drag from Connor Ward and he put everything together. So I'm basically just doing the same thing and kind of blindly following. Seems to be working pretty well for him. So this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up. We're putting the, <laughs> now we're putting the, the center pieces of angle iron 16 inches apart, well 16 and a little extra because a cinder block, the wide side is about 16 inches. So just in case we ever wanted to put cinder blocks on it to make it a little more heavy, that's what the middle ones are for. I guess the one major tweak that I made to Connor's design is I talked to asked him what he would do different. He kind of said in the original video that he would have made it 10 inches longer, I think is what it was. But when I asked him, he said probably do like six inches wider this direction. So instead of his being 20 inches, mine's 26 inches. So I guess you could say that mine's a little bit bigger than Connor's. I'd say I learned how to weld, but I did do at least one spot on there, so I get some credit. I'm just letting the master do his thing in the interest of time.
there's the finished product. I've got this chain. I need to get one more just like it for the other side. But that's the plan is get the chain hooked up there and then level this lawn. I'm excited. I think it's going to make a big difference. It'll be helpful to have the sand just for the Bermuda in general, but also just to be so much more level. It's exciting. So these tabs are what he was cutting with the plasma cutter. This is just to keep the center blocks from falling off one direction or the other if we actually end up putting them on there.